Hello, and thank you for joining me as I reflect on today's readings, which are from Jeremiah chapter 11 and John chapter 5. These aren't easy readings, they're full of danger and foreboding, and they also set a real challenge to any of us who declare ourselves to be followers of Christ. Jeremiah describes how he is becoming increasingly aware of the danger he is in as he preaches God's word. He describes himself as a gentle lamb led to the slaughter. And John describes another gentle lamb, Jesus of Nazareth, who quietly and secretively enters Judea, knowing full well that there are a number of Jews out there wanting to kill him. And so what do our two men do? Well, they recommit themselves to their job. Jeremiah saying the cause is with God and Jesus of Nazareth starting to preach knowing full well that that will lead to his passion and his death. So his two main principles, one the inevitable hostility there is to God's message and secondly the courage that is required by those people who declare that message. Yesterday I was in a Pilates class and suddenly my teacher said, if this exercise isn't causing you some discomfort, perhaps you're not doing it correctly. And it made me think of Christianity. If it's not causing us some pain and expecting some courage of us, are we not doing it correctly? So I just want to ask you three questions. Do you declare your faith only in safe places? Maybe your church, but not your workplace. Do you believe that evangelization is for an earlier age, not for our complex multi-faith society where faith perhaps is best remained a private affair? Or do you think it ought to be left to the professionals, the clerics and the religious? Well, if we follow Jeremiah and most particularly Jesus Christ, that is not where we should be. We are asked to declare God's message in all places whatever the circumstances. So as I leave you today to answer those questions for myself, I would just like to ask you and give you the challenge. Can you answer those questions and how? And thank you so much for joining me.